loving friends and welcome back to story time with Mary. This is where we get to read all of our favourite books and if you're loving reading along with Mary don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe to our videos so that we can read together all the time. Okay book lovers I've got a bit of a runaway tale for you today. Today we're going to be reading a real favourite of mine. This book is called the Runaway Pea, and this book is written by Kiartan Poskett and Alex Wilmore. So if you've got The Runaway Pea at home, grab it now and let's read it together. And while you're grabbing your poddy book, I want to tell you a fun fact about our little green friends, the peas. So they are little green friends, aren't they? Or are they? Did you know, book lovers, that peas Although the most common type of pea is the green pea and they grow in green pods. But did you know that some peas come in purple and some are even yellow? So book lovers, imagine having purple peas with your dinner tonight. Wouldn't that be fun? Okay, book lovers, if you've grabbed your book, The Runaway Pea, should we get cracking and read? It's six o'clock and we're ready for tea. But look, what's that? It's a runaway pea. He pinged off the plate with incredible force. Then slipped and went splat in a puddle of sauce. The carrots and beans were all laughing with glee. You didn't get far, you piddling pea. Just watch, said the pea. I've hardly begun. I might be only small, but I want to have fun. The pea shot away with a skip and a hop. Then into the dog bowl he fell and went plop. Climb little pea, climb up the side, quick before Boris's mouth opens wide. The runaway pea jumped amazingly high and so nearly landed in Boris's eye. He rolled along Boris's back in a flash, but a flick of his tail sent him flying off. Splash! Where am I? He wondered. His head really hurt. Get out of my tank, said Adele with a squirt. He fell on a mouse trap, which snapped and went bang, and bounced off a cobweb that stretched and went twang. He came to a rest on a high, dusty shelf. <sighs> so far, so good, smiled the pea to himself. Surely there's nothing left to go wrong. Then a fan started up and it blew him along. And what's that below with an orangey glow? It's the slot in the top of the toaster. Oh no! In the pea fell, unable to stop. Then the toaster pinged up with an almighty pop. cried the pea, my bottom's on fire, as he flew straight on into the tumble dryer. Buffered and battered and bounced all about, the pea was so glad when he finally got out. He collapsed in a shirt that had, that had newly been washed. Look out, little pea, you're about to get squashed. He tumbled and rolled, along out of control under the fridge to a dark sticky hole too weary to move he just let out a groan then got a strange feeling he wasn't alone out of the gloom came mysterious shapes a dried up banana and two mouldy grapes oh dear said the pea what happened to you <laughs> We were naughty, they said. We all ran away too. We don't recommend it, they whimpered quite sadly. You get old and wrinkled and start to smell badly. I changed my mind, said the runaway pea. I'll get back on the plate and be ready for tea. You won't, said the grapes, cause you've been on the floor. Runaway pea, you're not loved anymore. 
The little pea trembled, he knew it was true. There's nowhere to go for him, nothing to do. Helpless and hopeless and feeling forlorn, his tired eyes closed and he gave a big yawn. But a magic thing happened while he was asleep. He woke up beside the recycling heap. The soil was soft and the weather was sunny. And soon the pea started to feel funny. Under the ground, he sprouted some roots and out of his top, he was shooting out shoots. The shoots all had pods and inside every one was a party of new peas, all bursting with fun. So if you should ever hear pop, ping or splat, or splosh in the sink, or a yell from the cat, or a rapidly tap in the cupboard, then please don't panic. It's only those runaway peas. I absolutely love this book. It's definitely one of my favourite books in the whole world, The Runaway Pea. And do you remember the fun fact I told you about peas? That actually, we all know peas to be green, don't we? But some peas are purple and some are even yellow. So why don't you go and impress your friends and your grown-ups with that fun fact today? Okay, book lovers, if you loved our book as much as we did, don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe to our videos so that we can read together again next time. Okay, book lovers, see you again next time. Bye.